viewers, developers, and welcome to a new video series which is going to be called Solving the Rosject of the Week Challenge. And as it seems pretty obvious by the title of the section, here we are basically be solving each previous week's Rosject of the Challenge. So what is our Rosject of the Challenge? If you already if you are new here in the world and you don't know what this is, basically here we are providing you with a project, a ROS project, which you can open with a single click, you will see now. And this ROS project contains an error, a problem, or more than one, it depends. And you need to find out with your knowledge which is this error and solve it. Yes, and then the first one that solves it will get uh, a prize. Yeah, you will see uh, right now, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more this. But yeah, basically that's it. So let's start. First of all, let's start with the project of the which challenge one, which is this, this one here. So in order to get it, you have to click here in the link. Basically, this will take you to the project page, which is this one, as you can see, the project of the which of the week challenge one. In this case, it's beginner level. We have three different levels, beginner, inter intermediate, and advanced. And yeah, here, you should, if you already had uh, have an account in the Rust Development Studio, you can just sign in. If not, you will have to create uh, one, it's for free. So it's just, uh, in, in a minute, you can have the account created. In my case, I already have one, so I'm going to directly sign in. And uh, as I log in, I will get the project copied to my workspace. Then now, in order to solve it, I just click here on open project and it will start loading here the project uh, environment. It may take one minute or something like that, not much. But meanwhile, let me uh, talk about a couple of things. First of all, let me talk about the Robot Ignite Academy. Uh, this is our academy where you will be able to to do many courses online. And for instance, for solving this one, this Ross Basics in five days course would be enough because it's a beginner level. Uh, but well, you have many courses: uh, Ross Navigation, Ross for Drones, uh, Deep Learning, OpenAI, Manipulation, etc., etc. So here you will be able to get all the knowledge you need for solving these projects. And also, let me come here. Uh, in the information, as you can see here, we can preview the notebook. And basically, uh, as you will see now, here some instructions are provided in order to, to know what you have to do and to guide you a little bit in order to be able to solve the problem. So here you will see how to launch the simulation, the Gazebo simulation, etc. Here it's described, described the problem to solve. We are going to do this now um, once the project opens. And as you can see here, the winners of this challenge each week. So we are publishing this project of the week challenge each week in Thursday. So stay tuned and be, be aware because the first one to solve it will get a prize and this prize is uh, a ROS developer shirt, very nice. So yeah, here you have all the steps in order to, to be able to win the prize. You, you will need to basically, when you solve the project, you will need to save it and share it with us in uh, Twitter. But well, I, I will explain more in detail now once we are inside the project. So as you can see here, it has already opened. Here we have the project and yeah, let's start. So this is a beginner level. Let's come to the instructions here. It explains where to find the code. So here, if you come to the tools IDE, here we have the tools menu IDE. This will basically open an IDE here where we will be able to visualize all the ROS packages. Uh, for instance, here we have the Rosetta of the Wing code package with some code here. You can open, visualize it, etc. Then now to launch the simulation, we come to the simulations panel as it says here, and we have to choose the launch file, which is called project of the week one dot launch from the turtlebot gazebo package. So let's come here and we will look for this turtlebot gazebo package, which is here under project of the week one dot launch. So we select this one and we click on the launch button 
And this will start the gazebo simulation for us. And when it is loaded, it should look something like this image here, as you can see, with this tractorbot robot in a, in a small neighborhood. Then we will need to also uh, open a shell. We can do this with the tools menu shell. Here we have it. Let's put it around here. So basically, let me put this here and this here. All right. And yeah, the simulation is finishing to load, as you can see here. There we have it. You can maximize it, minimize it, whatever you want. But here it is the simulation with this starter bot robot in this very nice uh, neighborhood. So yeah, let's minimize this again. So basically, as here it explains that, as you can see, the Rochet of the Wing 1 code package contains a Python script inside named rotatebot.py. So here we have the package, here we have the file. Then, uh, by executing this file, we will be asked to introduce an angular speed in degrees, a desired angle to rotate in degrees, and uh, if the rotation has to be clockwise or counterclockwise. So for instance, we introduce 60 degrees for angular speed, 90 degrees for the desired angle to rotate, and we indicate with a Y or an N if we want the rotation to be clockwise or counterclockwise. Yeah, so basically this code is for uh, make the robot turn uh, in a certain velocity and a certain number of degrees. Yeah, this is the purpose of this Python script. But if we execute it, we will see that it does not work. So let's try this. Let's come here to a shell. So if I try to execute this Roger to the week code rotate robot.py, let me try to execute it here. So it entered the desired angular speed. Okay, let's try the same as the one which is presented here. So let's try 60 degrees. Now it asks for the desired angle. Let's uh, do a 90 degrees angle. And clockwise, yes, let's do it. Then when we finish, our turtle robot should rotate 90 degrees in the clockwise. So it should finish uh, looking to that, to this direction, yeah, to the right. So let's try to execute it and see what happens. So nothing happens, okay. So yeah, this is the expected thing because if we test it, we, you will see that it does not work. So this is basically the main purpose of this. You need to solve, you need to figure out why this is not working, yeah? So let me close this. Okay, so the first thing we see is that it doesn't move, yeah? So we can come here to review a bit, a little bit the code. It's uh, pretty simple, in fact, it's a class. It's a bit big, but everything is very simple. So basically you have this here, the robot control class, where we initiate a node called robot control node. Then we have here a publisher, a ROS publisher, which is publishing into the velocity topic. Yeah, it's publishing twist messages. So this publisher is basically is basically to publish velocities in order to move the robot. Yeah, so this seems to be something important because if the robot is not moving, we can have a look at what's going on here. First of all, yeah. Then, for instance, let's try to manually publish into this velocity topic. For instance, we could try to do a. Um, ROS topic pop into the velocity topic and we are going to publish geometry messages and for instance let's put here an angular speed in the Z axis which will make the robot rotate should make the robot rotate so let's publish this and see what happens okay so nothing is happening here okay this is quite strange so let's have a look using ROS topic list to the topics of the simulation and let's look for instance if we do a grab here of the of this topic velocity topic okay so here we have this velocity topic and mobile base commands velocity but this velocity topic it's not doing anything yeah in fact 
if we do a rostopic echo here, rostopic info, sorry, of this velocity topic, we will see that nobody is interacting with this except our robot control node, which is this one, the one we've launched before, yeah? So, this doesn't seem to be the topic where we need to publish in order to make the robot move. So let's have a look here, uh, again, with a cross topic list. And here we can find this uh, command bell topic, yeah? So usually in many, many simulations, this command bell topic is the one used in order to publish velocities to move the robot, yeah? So let's try, for instance, to do the same command we have done before, this rush topic pop, but instead of the velocity command, let's try here the command vel topic. Let's see what happens now. So let's publish here. All right, so now our robot is actually rotating, yeah? Okay, so now, what do we know now? We know now that the topic we need to publish to is not velocity, but is common bell. So if we want to make the robot move, rotate, we do have to publish into the common bell topic. Okay, let's modify this here, and let's try again our code. So let's try one more time this, uh, let me put this here and here. Let me get closer here to visualize better. Okay, so Ross run, Ross it over with one coat. It was like this. Yeah. Rotate robot. Okay, so let's try again uh, our example which was 60 degrees of speed, 90 degrees as a desired angle, and clockwise. Okay, so our robot is moving. Excellent. So now we can see that our robot is moving. And it has rotated. Let's execute it again. So now it is perfectly uh, in this axis, looking there. So if we repeat this, we should see the robot rotate 90 degrees, so it should look in this direction, more or less. Yeah, it's not exact. There might be some um, uh, tiny error, but let's try this one more time to make sure that everything is working as expected. 60 degrees, 90 degrees, desired tangle, and yes. So, clockwise. Let's see, okay. Excellent, yeah, so more or less it's rotating these um, 90 degrees, so we will give this as valid, and yeah, that's it. So basically we have solved this problem. We have solved this project of the week challenge number one. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You just need some basic knowledge of ROS in order to be able to solve it. Uh, so yeah, basically now, once you solve it, you will need to save, we need to click here in order to save the project. Make sure that we save our modifications and we have it properly working. So you can see this is now saving. And when it finishes, it will show a green tick here. And once this is saved, we can come here to the main uh, ROSDS screen. And let me first show again this. So basically, first we need to solve it, then, as you can see, we click here in order to go to the main uh, ROSDS screen, and now if we click in this button here, we can share our project, yes? We can copy this link here and share it with whoever we want, with our friends, our family, whoever we want. And then we will come to Twitter, to our personal account, and you will tweet something like this in your Twitter, mentioning the construct account, yeah? So we will come here and I, I can do, for instance, I would do this, copy this, pass it here, and here, instead of Roshek link, what I would do is to put, this has finished um, saving, as you can see, we can copy this link and 
paste it directly or we can take out this however you want as you can see yeah so the construct account the link to our project and the ros developer hashtag and you can add anything you want here of course for instance you can put i love you alberto for instance i don't know whatever whatever you want so yeah that's all for this project of the week challenge one and i will see you solving the project of the week challenge two bye bye